Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video here on Friday afternoon to tell you about a tool that I think is, um, it just came to my attention um, with all credit given to uh, one of the members of the CallZoo Mastermind who posted about this um, this morning. I think those of us in SEO have been using um, keyword related tools for a heck of a long time and in this case um, you know, it's just a, what she posted about was a little $7 tool that I think would probably be helpful uh, for a lot of you. But basically, keyword research tools break down into those that spit out related tools based on a database that they've accumulated. Uh, Google Keyword Planner is a pretty good example. Um, uh, Market Samurai, I think most of you are familiar with the different names in that area. Longtail Pro. Um, is a good example. I've used that extensively. And then the other type, more recent, is the kind that can tap into the um, uh, the suggest algorithm that's built right into Google search. So, for example, um, if you you can see as this uh, as this video moves, you can see the example that they're using here as they type into the box. Um, you know, you type in the word, and Google sort of uh, predicts where you're where you're going with it and the more you uh, feed it variants um, you know the more variants it will give you in terms of searches that are related um, that it will suggest to you so that's what's known as a suggest oriented keyword research tool and there are several of those on the market that are great i've been using uh, power suggest for a while and uh, will i will continue because of the some of some of the ways it uses wild cards, which I think are particularly helpful. But in this case, what this one does is a little bit different. And for seven bucks, I think it's probably not only worth taking a look at, but um, uh, I think you'll get a lot out of the tool itself and the training that comes with it. I am going to uh, skip over a lot of what's in the sales letter, but um, this is the address. It's marketbold.com forward slash question spy. Um, but what you'll see in here is that there are, I think if, if I remember right, I'm going to go into the member area real quick. Um, there are five, I want to say five training videos that cover installation and the basics of use. There are, I think, two videos that go into some advanced tips. And uh, all these are well done, by the way. I have not... Uh, I've not been able to watch the advanced tips ones yet because it's been a busy day or the bonus video ones, but they look, yeah, I mean, gang tattoos, loans, and questions by who wouldn't want to look at that. So I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of good training. What, what, what I was impressed with in just watching the usage videos is that the guy, um, I, I really like keyword research. You know, those of you who know me, um, know that I take it pretty seriously and I've become pretty good at it, but the, but this guy that um, created Question Spy and does the training videos is, is really pretty into it himself. So let's take a look at what it's like when you first pull it up. Um, you're gonna get you're gonna get an index screen and it's gonna have the six primary the six primary tools. You've got um, Question Spy top searches, which it finds the most common questions using a natural speech algorithm. That's an algorithm that they've probably licensed or they may have developed it or tweaked it themselves. Um, but to, if you want to get more results, drill deeper, obviously it's going to take longer each time you do a search. You're going to have, um, you've got the one that uses a natural speech algorithm and a question, and question prompts. As it says, it's a slower engine, but it'll find more questions um, that your market is searching for. And then the, the furthest one, which I think will generate literally thousands of results, is a natural speech algorithm plus the question prompts plus their own parsing engine that they've used. And basically what they're doing is, you know, they're, they're creating a direct portal into Google search. And they're creating as many uh, variations of uh, your base term as they can in as quick you know as in rapid as rapid an order as they can make it without having Google um, throw a temporary ban because of um, abuse of the 
the suggest engine. So what's really cool is down here the next the next three that you can choose for are basically they're the same technology, but what they've done is they've added on a filter that attempts to limit the results to uh, search questions that come from the search engine that are commercial or buyer intent oriented, which is pretty helpful. Now I've run, we were building a network on uh, basement waterproofing. So I ran uh, two examples for you um, using just the top searches, which is the fastest of the two. And you can see that the questions it brought back, um, of course, you know, they're certainly relevant to basement waterproofing. And in the case of the unfiltered one, which is just the top results, there were 107 questions that came back. Now, when we got into the one that um, is, is commercial with you know buyer intent, only 19 results came back, but it's pretty clear when you look at um, when you look at these questions, you know, where to buy, um, how to on basement waterproofing, not so much, but like how much is, how much does it cost? How much is waterproofing your basement? Those kinds of things. It did a pretty good job um, at the expense of kicking overboard somewhere around 80 to 80, what, three, two or three percent of, um, you know, the, the unfiltered results. It kicked those off and just gave you 19 that were left. But if you're going to do any research um, in terms of steering content for a website, you've you got to have this kind of thing, especially, for example, on the unfiltered results. What I, what I would do is I would then pop these 107 results into Excel, and I would start to look for common themes. You know, um, basement waterproofing is probably a bad example, but the one that the fella gave in his um, intro usage videos was based on iPads and basically, or excuse me, iPods. And basically what he did was he put in iPod and looked at the volume of questions that came back. And then he was able to, to sort of figure out where the patterns were and then even drill down to the commercial pattern. So the commercial pattern essentially wound up to be around where can I get an iPod screen replaced very valuable in terms of setting up sites that don't get too broad because the last thing you want to do is create a website that's all over the map in terms of content when in actuality uh, dollar signs are really only oriented around those things that make somebody pull their um, debit card or their credit card out of their wallet and in this case in the case of iPods it was all about how to get screens replaced so Anyway, I just wanted to tell you about this tool uh, for seven bucks. You know, it's going to be hard to it's going to be hard to uh, top the results that you can get out of this. It's certainly cheaper than almost all of the other tools that I've seen out on the market. Um, you know, that do exhaustive suggest oriented type work. And I think, you know, as I said earlier, when you look when you look in here at the um, at the videos that come with it, the training. It'd be, it, it'll be useful even for advanced keyword research people like myself, but I think for those of you who, for whatever reason, haven't had good instruction or a lot of experience, I think you'll really get a kick out of um, ripping into these videos and understanding a little bit more about the nuances of keyword research. Anyway, hope you get a kick out of